So a year ago, we bought this land. After about nine months of traveling, we had finally found the place in Portugal that we liked the most and we started looking for properties. We looked at quite a few and then we finally found this place. The first few times that we saw it though, there was not much more than a path and a little field and many, many, many bushes. Um, we could do a little survival with Puck on my back into the bushes and we actually found well and Martin also crawled up onto our hill using a wild boar path and when he was on top of the hill he just fell in love with the view and so we de decided to take a little bit of a gamble but we thought we had found a diamond in the rough we bought the place and actually the next day we moved onto the land that day was one of the few days for a good couple of months that we had rain but we cleared a path we cleared a place for our camper and we parked it there we immediately went to work and martin started started clearing all the bushes as many bushes as he could still do with the strimmer and then when it got too hot and too dry he continued by hand me personally it took me a little bit longer to get used to the place uh, Pick was only a year old at that time and being in a new place with a baby is hard to begin with but being in a new place as basic as we were with the baby was quite a struggle in the beginning so i took some time to get used to the place to get into a new rhythm and we went on many walks to explore the area and get used to our new surroundings we slowly progressed in making this place our home starting with the deck for our years uh, but little did we know it would never arrive but you can see more on that in other videos but we started on the deck in the hottest month here which is august But then inevitably autumn and winter arrived and we were still waiting on the yurt so winter was a little rough we built a makeshift shelter in front of our camper it was not perfect but it was doable we placed a little wood burner in the corner to keep us warm in the evening but all in all it wasn't as comfortable as we had planned and we had hoped by then we kept busy though and we started working uh, the land even more we started clearing the, the olive field and we found many olive trees that needed just a little bit of love. And so we started giving some love to the olive trees, pruning them, and now we have the beginning of a beautiful olive field. We hope to be fairly self-sufficient on this land one day. And so we started creating a garden, our first garden of hopefully many, and slowly but surely we could see how beautiful this place could be. This past year has definitely been the year that we learned how much you can do if you just do a little bit every day.
land is recovering a lot better than I could have imagined. There are so many beautiful trees here. Uh, the grass is really starting to come back a lot. And more and more we can see what it can be in the future. I'm really happy we took the gamble because there is so much more than I, I would have thought. It was really a diamond in the rough. By now we are comfortable in our beautiful yurt and we can start making plans for the future. There are many things that we can still improve and many things that we still have to do. Of course, the work's never, work never stops, but we can now see how we can build a business from this land. We just have to wait, but in a couple of years we'll have plenty of olive oil of which we can make beautiful products and we can start having more animals on the land. I'm already planning next year's garden and there is so much more that we could do. We can also build our channel here, um, take you along on this big adventure and show you all the beautiful places that we have found and will still find probably. <laughs> it's really fun to keep dreaming and to keep thinking and to keep planning. It has been an amazing year with many ups and many downs but that's life and I certainly feel more alive. I'm so happy that we decided to make the move when Perk was born and start this new life. And I hope you can join me on this adventure. <laughs>